Hello and in today's PIC microcontroller assembly we are going to be doing the software install. First what we do is we google mplab x on the first link we want to go to the microchip.com website. You can click view latest downloads. You'll note that they have changed since my previous software install that MPLAB X only supports 64 bit desktop processors now. And then you can pick whichever one you want for your operating system. I'm on a Windows system, so I'm going to download the Windows version. Then the other download is going to be the XC8 compiler. Then the first link for that compiler. And we can go view downloads click on compiler downloads and then get the compiler download for whichever operating system you are using specifically the XC8 because I'm going to be using a 8-bit PIC microcontroller specifically the PIC 16F877A microcontroller so we can download that Okay, now something worth mentioning. MPLAB X is no longer supplied with an assembler compiler. I think that's what you call it. Correct me in the comments if just an assembler or an assembler compiler. They completely dropped the MPASM assembler from the install. You are going to be required to install the C XC8 compiler that gets packaged with a assembler called PIC-ASM. First up is going to be the installation for MPLAB X. You'll see a MPLAB X IDE pop up and then you'll be greeted with a window that looks like this. So first we click next. We sign our life away to the license agreement. I'm going to change my installation directory to the I drive. You can leave it as default. Just remember where you have installed it. And I'm not going to allow them to collect data and use it as system proxy. Click next. I'm going to drop the support for 16-bit, 32 and other MCUs. I'm only going to be using 8-bit MCUs. You can always add support for this at a later stage. And I'm going to install the MPLAB X and MPLAB IPE. IPE is more of a production tool, but it is useful to have on hand if it is needed. We click next. And then the next again. And now we wait for the installation to finish. And I will see you at the end of the installation. And uh, now at the end, it will ask you if you want an XC, XC compiler or go to the 32 bit MCUs. We're not using 32 bit MCUs, so we're not going to have a look at that. And then the MMC, we are most likely not going to be using, so we can untick that. So that's also unnecessary. And we have already downloaded our XC8 compiler. So that's also not necessary. Uh, there might be a pop-up to install drivers. It will ask you if you want to trust the installation of the drivers. Just agree to that and let that install as well. But it didn't come up for me because I've already have my um, drivers installed. And we just click finish then. And now we are going to install the XC8 compiler, which is both a C compiler and an assembler. If it gives you a security warning, just click yes. And that should give you a window that looks like this. And we click next. Again, sign our life away to the license agreement. We want the free version. I'm going to change my installation directory to the iDrive. You can install wherever you want. You just need to remember where you installed it. We just click next. I can apply all settings to users. And then we say add XC8 to the path environment variable. This is important. Have it added. This is so you can access it anywhere on your system from command line. And so that the MPLAB X IDE can see your compiler. We click next and next again. And I'll see you after installation is done. Okay, and then after install, you will be greeted with a window like this where you can purchase a pro license. I don't recommend that. You can just click next. This is all auto-filled for you. And then we click finish. And then on your desktop, you should be greeted with two icons like this. Launch the MPLAB X IDE. It will give you a splash screen with a red loading bar. It's on my other screen that I'm not recording. I'll move it over as soon as the IDE has launched. 
you might get a warning like this just click disable modules and continue when you're done you should be greeted with a ide that looks like this apparently it has saved my previous settings from my previous installation of it of basically testing it but it should look something like this excluding the projects okay then then now first thing we're gonna check is if the assembler has added correctly to the mplab x ide so we're just gonna do a new project and the loan project the leg bic 16f 877a and then we can select a picket 4 as our tool or you can use the simulator we are actually pretty heavily going to be using the simulator during this we click next and then you want this pick dash as in your list if it is not in your list then you'll have to cancel your project setup if the assembler is not in your list you'll want to go to tools options and then you'll start with general you go to embedded and then you'll have build tools i'm going to remove it or you just click remove you don't need to click remove if it's not in your list of compilers and uh, then we click add and then you need to find where you have installed your xe8 compiler which in my case would be my idrive program files microchip xe8 whatever version you currently have i would suggest using the same version as i do for um this tutorial and then just add the pick as um to your directory currently it doesn't contain a tool chain uh, add the bin folder and then just click ok and you'll see actually it shows you which compiler it is by default and just click ok and apply and ok again and then the ide is set up for programming in assembly that's the introduction to the software install uh, like share comment and subscribe is always appreciated thank you have a nice day